Hello, Stephen Oberauer here. I'm going to show you how to do a matrix style bullet time video. Uh, so what bullet time is, is it's slow motion, but where it goes really slow and then the camera moves around the action. So I will just uh, scrub through this video slowly so you can see what I'm talking about. So. Uh, it starts with me rolling along on a skateboard and I get to the crack in the ground I do an ollie and I freeze it camera zooms in and it turns around the skateboard which uh, rotates slowly in slow motion uh, and then it goes back to the action and full speed so how did I do this well let's start with the basics so this is just a video of me skateboarding right so there's three videos involved in this one of me skateboarding and then what happens here is the camera spins around and then the third video is the ending where I roll away so it's three videos and I've made them uh, look seamless. What I've done with the skateboard, it's only at this point where it starts turning that it's actually no longer my skateboard that you're seeing. This is a 3D model that I, I made in 3D Studio Max. So if I switch over to 3D Studio Max, you can see this is my skateboard. I took a screenshot from um, from After Effects where I land. Let me just scrub through to that. You can see where that is. So this point over here where I'm about to land, I took the screenshot. And I put that into 3D Studio Max uh, so that I can line up my, my, my 3D model here. So how did I build this 3D model? Well what I did was I took my existing skateboard I took some photos of it and I modeled it from that uh, if you want this model it is available on Turbo Squid. you just have to search for Lost Hobbit skateboard uh, so this is what the model looks like you can see it's spinning around and uh, I can show you what this looks like without the model so you can see that I actually did put a where I put a model in. Let me just toggle that and toggle that. So there you can see the original skateboard. And here you can see the 3D model on top of it. And if I scrub through, you can see where this is the middle video where I start spinning the camera where there isn't actually a model there. If I switch it back on you can see there's the model so that's basically how to do it uh, the trick is obviously you have to know how to use 3d studio max which takes quite a while to learn uh, but obviously if, if you use my existing model from turbo squid then uh, it'll be a lot easier or you can use whatever model you want really for whatever you want to do so there's another way to do bullet time, which I will show you quickly. It's uh, this is an example of mm, these are my feet uh, turning around. So it looks like I'm frozen in time, and the camera is moving around my feet. Okay, so obviously one way you can do this is you can stand really still and you can turn the camera around uh, but that's going to be very difficult so obviously the easiest way to do it is you stand on something and then you remove the background so what I've done here let me just remove some things so you can see Right, so this is what the original video looked like. Uh, as you can see, I'm using a very bad green screen. And 
then I just stood on a chair this is just a normal office chair and what I did is I took off the back support uh, put some green material over it and I spun around so you can do some fun fun stuff with that and once again that's what it looks like without the chair cool uh, so yeah I guess that's it enjoy